Hey everyone, welcome back to the how-to series. Today, we are covering licensing for vSpot. In the description box below, we've included great resources to assist you, including links to our how-to hub. Be sure to check it out often, as we are always updating the content. I'm already logged into the Ruckus support portal and our vSpot appliance. As you work with your own licensing, you'll need to have your username and password for the support portal handy. I want to give you a quick highlight of what Lyman or License Manager is and does. With Lyman, you can bind licenses to serial numbers of devices. You can handle your licensing allocations or the licensing pool, which I'll talk about later. And you can even perform an RMA for virtual appliances such as Virtual Smart Zone if you need to move that license from one device to another. If you currently don't have a license, you should reach out to your local sales team to purchase one. I don't recommend contacting Ruckus Support to purchase licenses as they aren't equipped to sell them. However, Ruckus Support is available to assist you if you encounter any issues installing or activating your licenses. First things first, we need to generate our vSpot serial number. From the vSpot Appliance web UI, click on Settings. Now click on Upload Smart License. Once we click on Generate, our new serial number is displayed. We'll need to keep this handy as we'll have to include this when we work within the Licensing Manager or Lyman for short. I'm going to highlight the serial number and copy it to the clipboard. Once we've purchased our license or licenses from our local sales team, we should receive an email that will look like this. This is our vSpot RTU or Right to Use license for a single appliance. Right to Use and Support licenses are bound to serial numbers. In order to activate the license, we click on the activation code. This link directs us to the license activation page. Let's click the accept radio button and click on activate purchase. Now we can bind our license to the vSpot serial number. To do so, I'll paste the serial number into the field and click on validate serial number. We'll open the dropdown and select our admin SKU license. Now we click on Register Device and Bind. Finally, we see a page that displays our license info. We can note the serial number that the license is bound to, as well as the license status, which is active. Next, I'm going to show you how to add AP capacity licenses. These license types work different than RTU or support licenses, but are much more flexible. For example, if you purchase a 50 AP capacity license, you have the flexibility of adding 25 of those licenses to one of your vSpot instances and the other 25 to a separate vSpot instance. This allows you to increase your footprint by purchasing one license pack and applying it to multiple devices. The way this works is by having our capacity licenses added to a pool within Lyman. Once the license is added to the pool, we can choose our desired quantity to be added to individual nodes or instances. Keep in mind that vSpot capacity licenses are only compatible with vSpot. You can't use these licenses for other product types such as SmartZone or Zone Director. Let me show you how this works. We're going to begin by adding two licenses to License Manager. I'm going to add a vSpot support license, and I'm also going to add a vSpot AP capacity license. I'm going to add both of these licenses at once, and then we'll go back and we'll touch vSpot to make sure that the licenses are there. There is no correct order or way to do this, but I'm going to add our AP capacity license first. This is the email with our activation code, so I'll click on the activation link, which takes us back to Lyman. Within Lyman, I'll click the accept radio button then click Activate Purchase. Once Lyman finishes processing, we see our licensing info page. This indicates that our AP capacity license is now available in our licensing pool. Now let's add our support license. Once that's added, we'll add our AP capacity license to the serial number from the pool. That's kind of why I did it in this order. It just makes it easier to do this all at once, once the licenses are activated. So again, we see our support license activation code, so I'll go ahead and click on that to activate it. Back into Lyman, I'll click the Accept Radio button, then we'll click on Activate Purchase. As noted on this page, we aren't done yet. In the same fashion as an RTU license, we need to bind the support license to a serial number. Let's click the License Product Code link. 
Here we can input the vSpot serial number and click validate. Perfect, it's loaded the device info and now we just need to click bind support to device. Now let's grab our AP capacity license from the pool and add it to our instance. To do so, we'll click on the plus license button. We're gonna select the feature name field and then select capacity vSpot and click on search. Our top line shows the AP capacity license we added earlier. Let's add a quantity of one, then scroll to the bottom and click on add license. Similar to SCI, vSpot does not have a sync option. In other words, we can't synchronize our licenses from Lyman to vSpot. That means we'll have to download it and manually add it. This is good to know in case we need to travel to the site to add the license. We'll be prepared by having it downloaded prior to arriving. Now I'll click on download license file and it downloads the file to my browser's downloads folder. Okay, from the vSpot web UI, we have an upload license file option. Let's select choose file and browse to our newly downloaded license file. We'll select that file, then click upload. Great, now our license page is fully populated with all three licenses we've just added. Now we are ready to take full advantage of vSpot. Before you go, be sure to check the description box below and access any of the great resources we've provided. Thanks for watching.